Hello everyone and welcome back to Fableheim and Ickit Claw's World Domination. We resume, well, we were going to resume with a new turn, however, Alaria the Radiant, the Ever Queen herself, has graced us with her presence in Bordelou. Now this is a pretty tough army, but we cannot let the auto-resolve cost us this very important settlement that is making us a ton of money, so we're going to go in and hope that we can defend it. Now looking at this, oh, they have towers. Of course they have towers. The real key here is going to be how effectively does the AI use the Flame Spire Phoenixes? Because those guys are terrifying. Quite literally, actually. They inspire both fear and terror, which as we've discussed before, the Skaven are not particularly Very fond cool, of. Catapult. As one of the factions that suffer heavily to... Uh, psychological effects and any leadership issues whatsoever. Actually, I think they should be back here. I think the buildings will block me for this place. I was just saying, as a faction that suffers heavily to all leadership detriments, pretty much, and psychological effects, the flame spires are probably going to wreck us. So, how do we counter that? These guys? I mean, are they heavily armored? No, not really. But it's large targets with a ton of health. They also have the rebirth effect, which is really annoying. It's like a 50-50 to just fully heal from death. Or at least half their health or something. So, we're probably going to put our swords on the ground. Maybe... I imagine they're going to come this way, so... Our Stormborn with Halberds fighting them would be ideal. Ideal. He says. These can fire from all directions, so I don't care about them being backwards. Have some spears over here. I think the rest of our force on the wall is going to be swords, and we'll keep the spears on the bottom because they do have some cavalry and trebuchet. Not tre they have a bolt thrower, which is not a trebuchet, but I was talking about uh, these guys, the skirmishers, the archer skirmishing units. So we will want to keep some spears on the floor in a few places if possible. I guess you can go here and see where you're needed later. Our warlock is... Probably going to have to be up here somewhere to help out with leadership bonuses and lightning. Globideers. And the real question is, where do I put the Globideers? We're going to take them off fire at will because their ammunition will be very precious for us. So they'll just be wherever we feel like it. Swords can come back and the slingers can come up. All right. Skaven slave slingers are not particularly valuable. They're kind of just fodder. <laughs> But, um, hopefully they can do some work here. Of course, they would put their, uh, Phoenix Guard in the towers. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Alright, well, here we go. Let us see if we can cheese our way through this. I highly doubt it. But it'll be funny if we can. One of the first things to do will be to use our Menace Below to destroy the Bolt Claw Thrower if we can. Trebuchets are actually shooting the phoenixes, huh? That is funny. Do we have... No, we just have Warp Lightning, so we don't have any shenanigans with uh, Death Frenzy. Which is unfortunate. Also, I don't think I'm going to try and shoot down the... the um, towers. It never really works for me. I've done it before, but it's usually when you can get like three of them firing. So I'll try and deal with other high-priority threats if possible. They did keep some of their casters back here, but I don't think that's enough to save. Ooh, maybe it is. The Volt Claw Thrower. Actually, they do enough damage? No, of course not. They did just enough to make them break, but not enough to warp bomb them. Convenient. Very convenient. Ooh, that's good. These Storm Women should be here helping if they can. Now, the problem is that these lion, the white lion's trace, will deal a substantial amount of damage to the storm vermin because they are... Oh, that's not good. They are um, armor-piercing, anti-infantry. Take two. Oh, they're back. But they're about to vanish, aren't they? Yeah. All right, take two. You are losing ground. That didn't take very long. They broke the Warlock Engineer, that didn't help. 
And they've broken most of the stun vermin. Yeah. Fear and terror. Not something we can easily deal with. It is very difficult for the Skaven to deal with it. Without some of the newer units, you know. Wait, are you on skirmish? No. Alright, let's see if we can get some firing here. I probably left them dormant for too long, but... I'm going to blow up Storm for a minute, and I think this is a bad idea. Eh, questionable. Okay, they're in melee. That's not good. I know that's not good. Here's Alariel herself. Who is this? Oh, these are Stormfremen. So our lord has rallied. I think we can safely say that we have lost this. We're definitely going to need to get another army up. I'm just start shooting at that. You can shoot these guys. Any units that rallied are just going to literally rally at the hold point. The holding point. The center of the city. Any useful menace below? We'll pull them back as well. Because they're going to be useful later. This could be a good warp bomb target. What's fighting up here? Gutter runners? I don't think I can pull them out. I can try to pull these ones out, though. And who is this? Gutter runner slingers. We can try and pull them back. Low expectations, but we can try. Let's see what we can bombard from over here. And that one's shooting there. We don't need to shoot that anymore. That's in the way. We can shoot that, the Lothram Seaguard. Not a bad target. Ooh, this could be good. If Alariel is caught out in the open. Alariel is not the strongest combatant. She's not particularly weak either. But she's at least... Wait, why'd she come for me? What is this? Shield of Thorns. Uh, that's a good ability. I was just saying, she's not the strongest, but she's also not, you know, horribly weak. We're going to use this to hold up the Phoenix Guard because they are terrifying. By every definition of the word. I think we can consider this a relative success if we can kill all of the, the Phoenixes. But again, they have that fifth... Yeah, this. It, it died, and look where its health is now. Uh, are they all going to roll it? He did. Mm. Much irritation. Please kill. Pull away. This would actually be a great warp bomb target. Did it go off? Maybe... Okay, we got one of the birds. Good. One bird, dead. See if we can shoot that. It might kind of be obstructed, but maybe not. We're going to use our menace below here as well. Similar reason as before. Just hold the Phoenix Guard. Uh, Hilarial, Hilarial is a little annoying. Of course, she's a life caster, has all sorts of wonderful magic abil magical abilities, and can probably beat this random warlock engineer in combat. Let's get these gutter runners into actual combat. Pull these guys away from the impending doom. The weakness of the White Lands of Trace is they don't have any... They do have high armor, but they don't have any shields. So they can't just block uh, range attacks. Well, this is not looking good at all. We did kill one of the phoenixes. The other one won't leave this alone. Oh, no, it's the mass break. Rip, fear and terror are too strong. We might not be able to do it anyway. But the important thing is we tried. Now we're going to have to muster an army to retake it. Yeah, look at this. 188 kills on the phoenix guard. The thing with the phoenix guard is not only do they have incredibly good stats... They're armor-piercing and anti-large. 
They just kind of deal with everything that the that enemies can muster. Of course, they are susceptible to missiles because they don't have any shields or any way to block it. The other elite unit of the High Elves that I'm surprised we're not seeing are the Swordmasters of Hoeth, who are great weapon infantry that can deflect missiles. Isn't that great? I hope I don't have to deal with them. Most traveled rat of Skrya. Nothing surprises me. Hello, Marathi. And Mama Marathi wants a defensive alliance. Hmm. This might not actually be a bad idea. Although, we're both already at war at the biggest threat on the map. How much money can I get out of you? Yeah, sure, why not? One good ear, yes, yes, but I still hear you. Lokir Felhart. Non-aggression pact. I don't mind because it'll make Skrull happy. What do you offer? Things for burn fuel in my warp forge. Speaking of, you would like him? No. I've heard that it's more difficult to confederate with a faction if you have military or defensive alliances with them. Don't know how true that is, but I'm sticking to it. Weapons. Many things to make you dead. Hello, Wolfric. I'm coming for your head. Ha 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 ha. No. Mine. Mine. The Julak Jaluk. Excuse me. Oasis. During a feast, as enemies are consumed and the paunches of their peers are measured with envious eyes, one of your warlords boasts rather loudly, rather too loudly, of the scavenge hall he has discovered within which sits a relic of great value. Hmm. That is definitely not worth it. I'm going to let them fight over it. The, fa the Silver Host have been destroyed. That was actually quite the interesting <laughs> um, first turn of this episode because a lot happened. We are besieged in the Black Tower of Arkin down in the Great Desert of Araby. Raiding? Yeah, of course. We've discovered an ambusher. The dominating scheme is now available to be performed, and guess what we're going to do? You guessed it. Plague Rolk is now an engineer. Excellent. So a few things I want to talk about before we really get into the episode. First things first, look, we're still alive. Luther Harkin has one settlement to his name. He has three, apparently. I don't know where the other two are. But he is incredibly weak. It is unfortunate that he is allied with both the Blessed Dread and Skrulk. I forgot we were trading with him. So not all the vampires are dead yet. He is the last of the vampire coast tower. I think Direfen's dead. So that's the thing. And now that the Silver Host is destroyed, that is no more vampire count fish units. So yeah. Oh, they're over here. He took over this stuff. All right. Fair enough. The other thing is Strick. Now, I've had mixed feelings about this guy the entire time he has existed. Poor fella. But I have decided... Move tails. I suppose to finish... Sorry, to complete this thought, <laughs> I usually record uh, Aka Claw back to back. It helps keep the coherency and helps me remember what we were trying to accomplish because my memory is not great. Here goes a dominating, dominating scheme. Mwahaha. So we can begin recruiting a new army. But I slept on it. And I've decided, you know what? He's earned his keep. He deserves to stick around. He is our first Vermintide army. And he's done well for himself. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise an army here in Skaven Blight. We are going to pick... Ooh, a level 10 Gracier Plague. We don't have a Plague one yet. Do we want one? I mean, level 10 is pretty... Detempting. Can I see his skill points? Morlock. We'll take him. Let's take a quick look at this. Root Marcher, Infiltrator. Blech. Oh well. That's fine. We can put some of those in his army. As I was saying, he's earned his keep, so we're going to raise this army, and we're going to build it out to kind of swap units around with Srik. Because the Plague Monks are outdated. I put this guy in for laughter. I don't even know if he's going to stick around. But he has so many storm vermin. He needs a bit of, uh, you know, variety. 
So, in order to obtain variety, we're going to put in a few death runners. We can change this. Oh, it's still there because I forgot to change it back forever ago. We definitely want some death runners. We can put in a few Plague Monk Sensor Bears. And I think we'll have to recruit a couple. It would help if I counted all this, but. There's nine storm vermin. So we don't. We'll need like two, maybe. And then get two storm vermin with halberds for this army. And then some ranged crap for both armies. And call it a day. And then we'll have two complete armies that I'm perfectly satisfied with. Or mostly satisfied with. Boom. Easy. That is the most efficient use of Strick that I believe. And it makes me feel a lot better than just throwing him away. Now this is an issue that we're going to have to deal with quite soon. And I'm about to upgrade this out of fear. Oh, they're coming from Musion too. You... Mm, you might need to... It's Tyrion. Well, at least Tyrion doesn't have the... the Sword of Cain. Can we see that? I didn't miss a Sword of Cain rest event, did I? When the Sword of Cain is lost, it goes back to sleep or whatever. I don't think I did. Also, a thought that I had. We're going to expand the Undercity to the White Tower of Hoeth, which is basically like the High Elves' um, Great Library of Alexandria. A collection of their knowledge. And before I interrupted myself, the other idea I had was to have Ikit Claw. Is this it? No. Have Ikit Claw chase down the Sword of Cain. Oh, it's right here, derp. Unwise. This dude has the Sword of Cain. The Sword of Cain thriving. Look at this. 550 armor piercing damage, 30 melee attack, 25% ward save, enables magical attacks. The ability Sword of Cain is like a giant swirling sword tornado and unbreakable. Oh. So yeah, I think that's where it gets going right now. We were deciding, do we want to go to war with the Greenskins yet? And it's not that I like the Greenskins. It's probably going to take this. I just think they don't deserve death yet, you know? So we were going to go this way and chase down Volkmar or whatever. But this time, or now, we have a goal. We're going to get to the water as quickly as possible. And then ride all the way into Lothurn and take the Sword of Cain. That is the plan. Meanwhile, Warlock, master of over here, we're going to deal with some pests. Is this Wolfric? It sure is. Look at that army. It's actually not that terrifying. No. This one's a little scarier. But Sien Surge has no fear. I'm actually hoping that this triggers... Aww. I was hoping it would trigger the... um. Underway battle, because that would be funny. Master Engineer. Now, I wasn't sure why I was doing this when I was thinking back on it, but I was pulling Plague Rock down to help with this issue as well, even though CM Surge is here and fully capable of himself, of doing it himself. So, I think we let him do it. I think we pull Plague Rock back this way to deal with the filthy human things. I think that is the plan. Ooh, it's a die. Well, I guess I'll upgrade this and we'll wait. A little bit of issue here. Ah, a knife is here. I can reach this. No, I don't think I can. Wait, can I? How do I move the map on this one? Ah, there we go. Can I reach this? I think I can. A... Oh, it's an ambush, too. Look at this army. Okay. Well, here we go. Our first... I think this is our first fight against the Beastmen. I mean, of course, we held them off at the Hell Pit, but that was not a real army. That was not a real fight. This is a real fight. Giants, Sigor, Minotaurs, a metric fuck ton of Bestigors. Hello. Here we go. Do you know why they're called Bestigors? Because they're the best. <laughs> that was a terrible pun. 
but it's not entirely wrong. They are incredibly powerful armor-piercing great weapons that uh, we're going to have to deal with. I think the best way to deal with this is to have our Storm Vermin with shields go straight into this line with very little thought for their safety. The Halberds down here to deal with the large stuff. Again, very little thought for their safety. And then we'll have... You guys come from this way. We'll have the Rat Ogres slam into this line from the back. It's actually almost disgusting when I think about it. And that makes me very happy. Um, hmm. I guess these guys can come from behind as well. It doesn't really matter for the Hell Pits because they're just going to run into the Giants. We do have Ikit Zap Zap, of course, down here. Again, this is really effective against any spellcaster that you can hit. So I think one of the best examples is like Marathi or... Oh, who's the other Dark Elf guy? The big one, the important one, Malekith. Malekith. How can I have forgotten that? When he's on his dragon, he's just this massive target begging to be zap zapped. So yeah, Marathi's mount is a lot smaller. It's maybe not as ideal of a target, but she is an incredibly potent spellcaster. That was my point. Anyway, let's go. Let's get each of them on a giant. It's probably also incredibly important for me to shut down the Saigor. So that's what we're going to zap zap. And then you guys are all going in here. We can send these guys on particular targets. Here we go. We're also going to kill the Warlord with the with Garth. I should probably conceal these guys real quick. I don't know what the advantage is when I'm that close, but I'm doing it anyway. That Saigor is getting wrecked. Ooh. Nice shot. Okay, so let's pick a few targets here. We should probably come help out over here. No, go in. Go into the mess. Bang, bang. That's a song, right? I think so. Ooh, we broke them. Look at that. That rear charge break from Knife. The Undying. Makes sense, of course. We we'll use the menace below, why not? We're zap zapping the Snigor still. Ooh. Right in the face. Ooh, the hell pit is losing. It is surrounded by spears, which is unfortunate. So let's get knife down here to help. He's just chasing people around anyway. Hello, please go there. We can pull down these guys. Because they move quickly. While the Rat Ogres are doing beautiful work. This is an ambush, so we will have to... Were they in Force March? If they were in Force March, then we're fine. But I don't think they were. Run. Run, run, run. You can do it, I believe. Ick. Knife. Stop getting distracted. <gasps> it happened! Too horrible to die! Yes! Well done. So the Too Horrible to Die proc um, is very similar to the Flame Spire Phoenix's rebirth that we saw earlier. It just heals the Hellpit Abomination a lot. But usually I don't get that proc to happen. <laughs> it's kind of convenient because it's a 50-50. Either you get the heal, which is amazing and keeps the Hellpit alive as you can see here. We are going to still pull back. Or you get some um, clan rats that spawn from the Hell Pit's corpse. Because I guess they're filled with clan rats. Let's bring in our menace below to help out with the chaff that's here. Stand or die, please. I mean, there's no real please involved. It's stand or die, scrubs. <laughs> Would be nice if I could slow this guy down somehow, but I don't. Don't you have Venomous Blade? No, not yet, okay. We'll probably pick up Ven Venomous Blade soon then. Because that's very helpful. I like how he's a large target that ran straight into an anti-large unit. Very intelligent. Speaking of intelligent, I couldn't click it before he broke. That's okay. He should be fine. Well done breaking the Minotaurs. Wait, why are you guys in lines? Just stab, poke. Yeah, what you said. Slay, stab. 
I'm not going to kill the warlord. We're going to try and kill the stuff around. Around him. Especially the giant. Maybe you didn't hear me properly. Especially the giant, please. I think knife broke hardcore. I mean, he is recovering his leadership, but I don't know if he'll come back. If he does come back, however, we're going to use our healing potion. So I'm trying to keep an eye on the bottom. Ooh, excellent. We do have some rat ogres that... Dare I say I lost control of, so they ran off the map, but that's okay. You know, sometimes it works out in your favor. Are you back, knife? No. He's in a pretty good spot, though. He could turn around and intercept. We'll get the cannon to turn around, even though it's not going to have a clear line of sight. <laughs> the giant has a few friends, you know? We can fast forward here real quick. Just because we're cleaning up. Nothing big is happening. No, knife. Please return. Can broken heroes even return after the battle has ended? I don't know. Maybe they just can't. Maybe he's just riding off into the sunset. Forever. My poor knife. Alright, goodbye. I wanted to heal you. Really, I did. But, you know, it just wasn't meant to be. I'm chasing down some minotaurs, and I think that's really the last of it. I could be sending people this way, but eh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so we'll kill off these minotaurs, claim our victory, and move on. If they were in forced march, of course, they'll die, but I don't believe they were. Hey, we did it. Oh, no, there's one more. With 91 health, though, I think I can just leave. So we're going to. Pyrrhic victory? What? Our front line did take an incredible beating. But the good news is that we killed the giants. And to be fair, I am perfectly aware that if we didn't get the two horrible to die proc, we would be down one hell pit, and that would make me sad. These are our good hell pits, too. Our rank 8 hell pits, from the hell pit itself. You can tell where they got their namesake. I'm not sure where Rat Ogres got their namesake. My plan seems always best. Do you think they saw the ogres? Because there are ogres in Warhammer Fantasy. They're just not in the game yet. This meat flesh will do nicely. But do you think they saw ogres and just like, you know what? Hunger be gone. We need some of those. I'm gonna take the food. Serve me, me. We aren't horribly hurting, but I would like to be in the plentiful food source if we can. Banner of the Under Empire. Gnawing Tide. It's a Mortis engine effect? Oh my goodness. Hold the phone. Warlock, Master of Scryer. Okay, I'm getting Venomous Blades, so we have poison. Huh. Well, we're not replenishing. That's unfortunate. But that aside, who are we giving this to? Oh. Need to reorientate so I don't confuse myself. We have a Mortis Engine effect. Do you think it stacks with the um, the bell for Alchemist Spark? That would be interesting. I don't actually know how to test that, though. The bell scream, scream. Do you think I can reach this next turn? I guess we'll find out. Run, fools, fools. How could I test that? Master Engineer. We could give it to Ratsputin. I think Ratsputin deserves something. So here you go. Banner of the Gnawing of the Under Empire. Your very own Mortis Engine effect. Encourage. The Dwarpine Banner. I think it's Encourage. Is that the thing where if your leader is dead... It acts as a leadership unit. Might be. The Lich Born Pendant is or Lich Bone Pendant rather. Is probably not that bad. We'll take it. Now it is of course going to be a full turn before we can apply those to anybody. So do we wait on our assault here? Hmm. Oh, this is just a bunch of skeletons. 
Never mind. We're going in. Here we go, Rasputin. Rasputin. How do you want to pronounce it? I'm still very impressed with my name here, Molder Executioners. Well, they probably should be in Knife's Armies now. Knife's Army now? Meh. Okay. All right. For a second, I thought they were going to be receiving reinforcements, but no, they're all just in one place. It's okay. Let's pull them back. Get them not there. I have to remember to actually move my Death Runners, because I sometimes forget about that. This formation looks nice and all until you forget about half your units. It can be funny to keep them like back here. I think they can shoot over that. Probably. Ready, ready. Okay. Seems good. Now if we if they have any tomb guard, we want them to shoot that. No no no, shoot the Lord. As with all undead units, or factions rather. If you eradicate the leadership, you win. Basically. Not entirely, of course. But mostly. Now, none of you are having... This is convenient. There's like a little divot here, and they're just shooting all over the storm vermin. Very nifty. They're just... Wait a minute. They're all just shooting over the storm vermin. I think that's more... Accurate. We're doing this just to hold them up. some of their... There's the tomb, whatever. Warlock Master! Yep, Warlock Master. My We're gonna go help out here. Still shooting over stuff. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, they're pulling back. That means all of you are pulling back. Despite what you may think. And down goes the Tomb Prince. So our next target should be this. The Tomb Scorpion. Alright, let's get our monks into the front line. And let's get everyone else in. Let's go. Actually, I might send you guys down the middle. Eh, maybe not. You can spawn more Plague Monks to keep things busy. And we can do a lot of things here. Oh yeah, we have Wind Blast. The Tomb Kings are incredibly weak to Wind Blast. Look at this. Boom. It is a little less effective because you can't um, overcast it, which causes it to deal additional armor-piercing damage, but still strong. I have to try and use that on cooldown. We can come down here and help. We can also cast a den death frenzy over here. Group everyone's attack. Shut down some of the archers. What should we be shooting with our catapult here? Probably not our own units. Probably a bad idea. We'll even use the magic debuff, because why not? Because reasons. Tip the Doom Flayers in here. The larger mob of things. And of course, let's try and keep the bell active. Because of its constant damage effect. Hey. Nice. Bluish pants? Some of them have green tops and blue pants. Some of them have blue tops and blue pants. Some of them have blue pants and no tops. Interesting. That's a decisive victory. An overwhelming victory, if I must say so myself. It's so nice when you can just obliterate the Tomb Kings and they don't get their little curse off. Because that's so annoying to deal with. In that regard, this is probably the best army to come down here. 
Of course, not as effective in siege battles when you can't just snipe out the lords. But hey. Every so often. Looking at the kill counts. Make me pretty happy. 155 on the trebuchet. Catapult. Again, the... Warblock Gazelles do not get a whole lot of kills, but they specialize in dealing with high priority targets. And they killed the Tomb King, the Tomb Prince, before they even got there, and then helped kill the Tomb Scorpion and the Ushabti. So, they did their job well. We aren't going to upgrade this one. We have secured the land of the Dervishes. There's no need to upgrade this, so we're not going to. Aha! Uh -huh. I mean, with food. Food's important. Alright. Is that everything? Pano Snarl has leveled up. We are working on making him a fighter. A fighter. Both of these are pretty good, actually. Do you have any weapons, Anno Snarl? Knows who his boss is. You have a mechanical claw, not bad. The sort of anti here. Eh. I'd like to put that on someone who has high attack that you can just for however long it lasts overwhelm. For 40 seconds, you could just be a monster. So someone like Ikit, but he already has the storm demon. You want some fire resistance? No one else is using it. Can't pay map movement range. You don't need assassination. And that's in other people's armies. Okay. Wait, was that did that say upkeep six six six? No malice detected. <laughs> Harness the power. Okay. I'll ignore that. Hey Balthazar. Sorcerer, inventor. Yes, I'm yes. sorry, Volkmar stole your title. It upsets me too. Scorch. Where are we going? We can't come down here and say hi to Volkmar. Ooh. Should have killed likely. that. Oh well. In, in my objects. Now do we spread? I'd love to spread it here to leech off this gold mine. However, Mechana gear is about. I, my, my I think next turn he can get up here. So we'll wait. It's 2k. Yeah, we'll wait. You can chill. Or you can kill this dwarf. Boom. That was a king. Not much of a king. Upgrade available. Weissmund. Oh, yeah. More food. More food. Bagar. Oh, we don't have the money to upgrade you, so we can't. We also need to try and keep in mind to give money to Skrulk so that he'll like us more. Me. We're still gaining, so we don't have to give many yet. Oh, Many we're so close. I could Ish. inflict on you, you or our mutual enemy foes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Isn't there a sorcerer down here? A chaos sorcerer? Good. Kill more of his army so he can confederate. <laughs> Didn't build a rocket. Crap. Wow. Alright. Apparently he really wants Essen. We never built walls here, so who are we to say no? Ah ha ha ha! Yes! Welcome, Wolfric, to your tomb. This is going to be glorious. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. Now the reinforcements are coming from behind them, which means we can't do any cheeky stuff like catch... Or, kill them before the other army arrives, but hey, that's okay. Because we don't have to. The Norskan armies excel really in two circumstances. One, when they can have long, drawn-out fights in melee to get their, what's it called, Norsk... Whoops. Uh, Norskan Berserker buff? Brawler buff? The whatever buff it is that makes them stronger the longer they're in melee combat. The other situation is when they, when their large monsters just run things over. Sorry, I had a brain fart for a second. Just forgot what I was trying to say. But you know what? They can't get buffs 
if they can't fight you in melee. If they just get gunned down by rattling gunners. And their large monsters can't run you over if they also get gunned down by rattling gunners. Now this may sound like I'm over-relying on my rattling gunners. And that wouldn't be an incorrect take. That assumption would be partially correct. And you know what, they have so many units, they'll probably just overrun my Rattling Gunners. But that's why Sand Surge is here. Additionally, we can do some cheeky Warp Bomb stuff, I think. So if we just spawn a Warp... Warp Gun? Warp Bomb. So if we spawn these guys right here... These guys are all gonna fight them, right? And then we blow them up. Boom. See? Easy. I almost missed because of this really annoying pin. Wait, why are you going this way? <laughs> don't do anything that... Don't do anything insanely crazy, see, in search. I'm actually not that afraid. I feel like I should be, though. <laughs> well, part of the plan? All according to plan. The plate claws probably should not shoot at this stuff, though. They're more suited for infantry. Look at the werewolves just get gunned down. It's gorgeous. They'll probably get away and come back, but that's fine. Where are my halberds? I think I'm over here, I think. And then we'll have the Doom Flares cover this side. Maybe we split them up too. So we have five over here, six over here. Seems good. Here. The power of the rattling guns. <laughs> now they are going to try and kind of squeeze around like this, it looks like. But that's fine. I'm okay with that contingency plan. Doesn't matter if you break them. Please fight them. There's no way the AI learned my tricks already. And they just don't care. Maybe it learns. It's evolving. I'm watching the map to make sure nothing hits my front line while I'm staring at this intently. Here we go, here we go. Maybe. Soon. TM. They are they have surrounded us, so they haven't learned my trick. My army is being surrounded though, so I need to hurry up. Please. What? Ah, uh, the flag disappeared. Well, rip. Hold up. Alright, Sand Surge, you're holding off the line. We can have this come here. Okay, the front line's compromised. Pull back. Pull them back. See, these... This is scary. This War Mammoth. So let's get these guys in. We'll have Ick. We'll help out uh, Sand Surge. Did I say Ick it earlier? I might have. I didn't mean to, obviously. Try to put this on myself. Should be fine. Should be okay. I'm also going to um, need both of these on guard. I'm going to death frenzy over here. I'm going to pull this side over as well. I think. Maybe. I definitely need to reinforce. I need to come back. This side needs to come. Well, it doesn't really have to. It would be nice, but it doesn't have to. I need more of my storm vermin over here. Where do we need this? I don't know yet. I think this needs to go here, though. Probably pop this and then use the scum, scum, skern, whatever. 
Okay, strong ribbon facing over here. Help. Please help. These guys are not very good in frontline. But the chieftain is making it so they have no choice. That is a flaming head. Pretty good flaming head, too. Alright, Sand Surgeon, you need it down here. You are required. Um, what's in here besides my units? Ice walls. I think that. Dangerous, really? What do you do? Wait, are you the healing one? No. Oh, no, that's the, um... The other thing. This definitely needs to come down here. That's the Doom Wheel that heals, not the Doom Flare. Confusing sometimes. Really is. We shoot them. Don't know what else we can do, really. These guys need to come out. We need to get, I think, these guys over here. Stormborn with halberds are rallying. I need this to kill the giant. I need to just kill it. Get rid of this crap. Go ahead and use the scrum to heal, but I think we're gonna pop this here. Here we go. Please don't kill my own units. Got my gunners. I know you're not always good at discerning the bad guys from the good guys. For once, please don't kill my own people. Now, yes. Okay, both of these need to flee, I think. Both of you need to get in here. And that is a break. Ooh. A very greedy break. But it's a break nonetheless, you know? I could have played this better. But... I also think it went pretty okay. I was way too focused on getting that warp bomb earlier. But hey. Hey. Both forms of hey. Sometimes, you know. You just gotta get it. I don't know if we killed the thing over here. I don't think we did. But we are going to fast forward real quick. Clean this crap up. Giant is dead. Well done. That guy is dead. Well done. Ooh, well done. Literally well done there. <laughs> Just like a steak. No. Why am I having a hard time using abilities? Like, I'll click it and it won't do anything and I'll have to click it again. Kind of annoying. But hey, victory. Pyrrhic victory, but victory. I don't think we even lost anything. 119 kills, 102 kills. The Rattling Gunners did well. Catapult was offline sooner than I wanted it to be. Maybe I should have been farther back. The line could have been a little longer too, but it broke anyway because they overloaded the left flank. 289 kills on CM Surge, the Paragon. Well, at least, you know, he proved why he has the title. I am going to replenish here. While our intern continues. Hopefully. There it is. An beast path interception. Wow. This is their own version of the underway. Is that what it's called for us? Anyway. We are going to have to fight this because, as you can see, a few of our units are very low health. And I don't want to lose them. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The beast path looks like this. I haven't seen this map in ages. Probably should have gambled, but whatever. Okay, anything that's less than 20 is going backwards. Is that all of them? Sure is. Great. I was going to make them group one, but knowing my brain, 
I would have sent them out to die. So I'm not going to. Now, the more we drag this out, the more health that our health pit abominations are going to have. Is that important? Uh, maybe. We are, going to all, we are also going to roll our Ickit Zap Zap up there. For maximum height advantage. Maximum high ground advantage. Pop Star Wars memes. And fast forward. <laughs> Let our helpets waddle into position. I don't think they can hide. Which would be incredibly amusing, though, if they could. Because a surprise help it is pretty terrifying. Surprise, help it. In your face. Ooh, hold on. This thing has 6 HP. And now it has none. Good. Monzan, I'm proud of you. Knife is a little low, but we do have the health potion. So let's go in. We don't really have a lord to kill anymore, so... You know. No point in sending the assassin after something specific. And I think this is just an instant lost for... These guys. We are going to send... Take particular Bestigor herd units. So that the rat ogres continue to chase them after they break. And I don't have to click on more things. Unless the plan anyway, but I can't see. There's one, I think. Probably. Kill that. Help. Now I think if they get away, it's a not a death. But I don't know, so I'm not going to take any chances. We're going to murderize everything. Which is going well, in case you couldn't tell. They'll be dead by the bell. Oh, no. No. Crap. Okay, one got away. That might be okay? Who knows? I can never remember the rules. Not that anyone cares about the rules. They're meant to be broken. Decisive victory. And not a single loss. Because we kind of just surprised hell pitted their faces. Always a solid strategy. I mean, they weren't invisible, so they weren't much of a surprise. But they did just punch the war rar in the face once, and that was it. Please be dead. I'm like dead dead, so I don't have to chase you anywhere. Chasing beastmen is one of the most annoying things in the world. I guess I'll take food. I think they're dead. All right. Let's find out. Are they dead? They are dead. Most excellent. Erengrad is besieged. Master Engineer. By the Varg. It's Sir Thaek himself. Now. Now. Well, I'm going to take this. All the food we've gotten, I'm going to use right now. Now, Sir Thaek is, of course, the warlord, whatever they're called, of the Varg Shifting Sands. Is that you? Yes. And he is known for his chariots. So that could be fun. Campaigner, Knife the Undying, fought multiple battles very far away from the capital. Huh. Perfect vigor. Oh my goodness. As if, no, as if he needed anything else. Now he has perfect vigor. I think I'm finally going to repair Bagar. I know, it's been a while. They're probably going to take Ant Talk, and I don't particularly care. There's so many battles that are about to happen. I can force March here. Oh, they're going to flee. Of course they're going to flee. Well, I'll stand here then. Black Tower of Arkin. Oh yeah, we have this. 
Yes. Yeah, you weren't going anywhere with that army. Let the bells scream, scream. The bells. Let's make a rocket before it I forget. Well done. This five turn cooldown is really cramping my style, you know? Do people even say that anymore? I don't know. Let the bells but it is. Scream. That was the most descriptive thing I could think of. Do we want two of these in each army? Wait, first things first. Do you have any unique things no for... No. Challenge. Hmm. Blessed with Filth is pretty strong. Blessed with Filth and Vermintide are amazing. And you also have the Dread at 13th. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Let's get Wither. Those are both useful spells, especially if we go with a more traditional build of these things. The Gutter Runners. Which I think we're going to just because you have max points in that one thing. So three of these, two of these. I might just put one in Strix army and then keep two for myself. They probably want a Doom Wheel. Doom Wheels are always fun, right? Everyone loves. We'll get a catapult. We'll think on the Doom Wheel. I think we're gonna get a Doom Wheel. Doom Wheels are great. In case we haven't proved that point. <laughs> Let's head to Altdorf. See what this guy is doing. And then from Altdorf, we'll set sail into the ocean, into the great blue void. Goodbye. I think this is like the third time we've killed Wolfric with Sea and Surge alone. I feel like there should be a special achievement for killing someone repeatedly. Alright. The enemies of Skavenblight. Ooh, the Gunnarsson Kron. Fortunately, this volume, containing every slight made against the Dowie on the high seas, has been made with runes of waterproofing. Smartest That's warlock brings victory. actually not bad armor. Guess what? You've been upgraded. As if he needed to be any stronger. So we'll sit here to replenish one turn, then we'll head into the ocean to begin our revenge. Against Noska. As for you. Oh, we did the sister. Of course. Of course. How could I have already forgotten? It's actually not that hard for me. <laughs> you already have everything here. So, oh, yes, we're going down this line, right? Ancient cunning, probably. Oh, no, we were making you stronger. Yes, of course. How could I forget, knife? We're giving you some additional knives. <laughs> I love his name so much. I don't know if you could tell. I don't think we need to go into her gig. I ain't scared of no ghost. I don't mind being in Force March. I'll take you all on. Probably. We'll upgrade this because we're having public order issues. You can have walls. Sure, upgrade that. Nope, just kidding. Here's growth. We should probably be spending this money elsewhere. Don't we have something else to repair? Not that one. Hello? That one. Uh, Essen is lost. I'd like to keep more time because of its relatively lore-friendly status, but I don't think we're going to keep it. I think it's very lost, fortunately. Hopefully we can keep all of this, because we fought for Sylvania for some time. I think that's pretty much it. It's we just have Strick and Border Princes screw you. I wanted to complete the province, but oh well. Too slow. Ooh, we can do this. Good. We'll do it at one since we have friends here, quote unquote, friends nearby. And then remittance. Free province. Hell yes. And that is going to do it. I still can't assassinate people. Oh, well. But that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. I definitely forgot about this. Oh. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed. We are definitely going to expand the Undercity. So what are we undoing? We need the wall. Sufbar needs this. Is there anything we can cancel? 
this is expensive, right? It sure was. Let's go here. Expand the Undercity for the Under Empire by building an Undercity. Can I understand where the confusion was? Excellent. So now we can begin expanding further, hopefully, because we stopped expanding from over here. The goal is to infest all of Ulthuan for something magical. But anyway, <laughs> enough of me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.